So have you got a job outside of volunteering here and do you find that there's a balance you have to keep doing both, do you think? Yeah, there is a balance. Um, the job I do, like, I'm away most of the day, further away. And then, over night time I'm more available. So, yeah, the balance is difficult, working during the day and then if it goes off at night, but everyone's different. And we all kind of pull together. Hey. Okay. Do you want me to get keys? Is that right? Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Entail. It entails of everything. Um, as shore crew, we have to make sure boats and carriage is all ready to go. Um, on recovery, make sure the trolls and everything else is all lined up perfectly for when we come ashore. I enjoy every part of it. It's different every time, and it's a great, work, great working life. So, to you, what's the most difficult aspect of this job? All of it, because as I say, every day is a different day. Some days it can run smooth, other days it can be a complete and utter disaster. So you never know what to expect. Talking to people outside of here who don't know much about the RNLA, do you find they have a perception of it being this non-stop action uh, job, do you find? Uh, most people know about the RNLA. Um, the ones that don't say much, but the ones that do think they do a good job, but 
until they come down and see what we actually do, it's difficult for them to understand how much effort and that goes into what we do. I started doing the Duke of Edinburgh at school when I was 16 and I just didn't leave, really. <laughs> Have you um, got a day job outside volunteering here and do you find that there's a balance you have to keep doing both? Yeah, I work um, Monday to Friday and um, yeah, I'll come down here when I can, when I'm not at work. So yeah, balance is quite nice. Having a page always on outside of here, that can go off any time. How are you able to switch off from the RNLR? Um, I think it's nice because if I can't respond to my page, there's always plenty of people that can get here. So it's kind of not the end of the world if you can't make it for whatever reason. There's plenty of people about. Mm. Being a parent, does that change how you approach this job at all? I think it does, yes. Um, when I was a single man doing this, um, I'd probably take more risks because um, it can be quite challenging at times. Um, but yeah, having, having my own children uh, and being committed to my wife, it, uh, it certainly has changed me slightly, I think. Uh, I'm a D-class helmsman and an all-weather boat navigator. Could you tell us what that job entails? Uh, yeah, as a D-class helmsman, uh, I'm responsible for taking two crew to sea uh, and uh, performing an effective rescue. Do you have a job outside of volunteering here? I do, yeah. It's, uh, I'm an engineer for a local vacuum company. Um, we make vacuum vessels and things like that. And do you find there's a balance between your day job and this RNLI job that you have to keep? Yeah, there is certainly a balance. Um, I think the harder balance is uh, between my family. Um, I'm a father of two young children um, and I'm married as well. Um, so actually that's the harder balance. My work are very good. Uh, letting me leave when the pager sounds um, to go and perform a rescue. Yeah. 
Do you find there's a perception around this um, volunteering job that you believe people have outside before they fully know what an RNLI volunteer means? Uh, yeah, I think, I think the perception is that we're all heroes. Um, and actually, if you asked any of us at Hastings, we wouldn't say that we were heroes. Um, the majority of the work we do is in calm weather. Um, it's cut off by the tide, it's towing yachts into, into Eastbourne. Um, so a very small percentage of what we do is, is the heroic uh, events that you see dramatised on telly. You watch the Saving Lives at Sea, um, and so many times I've looked at that, and and they've shown these rescues, and you watch it, and you think oh, it's so over dramatised. It, it, it's it's not like that at all. And you talk to the crews that are doing it, and they say it's easy, you know, uh, and that's what we exercise for. We train for that. So when we do get into them situations, it, it is a lot easier. Yeah. It is a lot easier.